Hey guys, welcome to Platform Body once again today. And today I want to show you another exercise. So this exercise is called a landmine squat press. Okay, so with this exercise, it basically works the glutes, hamstring, quads, works the calves, um, works the shoulders, works the core. Right, so it's basically an overall body exercise. So if you're looking to do a compound movement, like compound body, then you can actually execute this exercise. And so I just want to bring you to the technique, um, how you do it, just someone who has never done it before. And also, just a little bit of variation, if you have done it before and you wish to, you know, take it up another notch, so to get more benefit out of the exercise, okay? So, right here we have the landmine, so you're going to load the bar according to the way that you're going to use that for a big number. once again start with a small weight don't go overboard as yet just learn the technique um, go through the motions once you feel comfortably enough then you start to add your weight on and start to play around with the technique a little bit so the first thing that you're going to do load the weight on you're going to grab the landmine you're going to pull it up like this now in terms of the hand placement like we're gonna, I'm gonna show you the hand placement right here. What I do is I normally lock it like this. Now some people they may tend to bring it to one side and then push like that. I'll go through that in a little bit. But this is usually a great way to lock it in. That's because like what you can do is rest it here. And so what you're gonna do is you're not gonna stand too far. Some people will tend to stand all the way out here. There's like a lot of tension on the shoulder, and when they squat, they're gonna lean forward. Stand closer to the bar and have it rest on your chest. That's your starting position. Now, when you're in your starting position, you're gonna squat down. Now, when squatting down, don't let the elbows um, be downward because then you're gonna hit yourself in the leg. You wanna keep the elbows up a little bit so that you can keep the tension on the core and you're gonna go nice and deep. And push and you're gonna drive onto the toes like that and that will engage the calves, okay? So we're gonna do a couple repetitions. So let's look at the hand placement. Look at the hand movement. Nice and deep. Just like that. Okay? Now, if you've executed the technique and you feel you're pretty good and you wanna take it up another notch, then what you can do is you can do it one hand. So what you do is rack it here, squat down, push, like that, and then you can follow suit by doing the other side. So those are just tips and tricks to adhere to, just to make sure you do it safely, do it correctly, and that you get the most out of your workout. So, um, if you're confused about anything that I said, if you need any kind of clarity, hit us up on Instagram right here and leave us a comment in the comment section as well as subscribe to our channel right now as we have many, many great videos coming out soon. See you next time.